Yo, what's up everyone? It's Ian, the producer, yeah? Welcome to the channel. Yeah, I'm currently on the go right now, which is why I'm not in my home studio. But again, I'm a mobile music producer, so I tend to produce anywhere on the go. Today's video, we're going to be looking into two applications. We're going to be looking into segments, and we're going to be looking into EG Pulse. But that's a fantastic. Now, you might be asking yourself, when do I use these particular apps, and why do I need to use it? Well, let's get to work. In this video, we're going to cover it right now. So, hang tight. Let's do it. Whoosh. Okay, so I actually reached out to Elliot Garad because I was a fan of the applications. Like, seriously. So, we're going to talk about segments and EG Pulse. Two apps which they seem to be confusing. They share some similarities. And then the question is always, when do I use EG Pulse? When do I use segment? Yes, how I use it in my workflow and hopefully we'll shed some ideas on it. So these applications are available for iOS, iPad OS, and Mac OS. If you're using the M1 Mac, I'm gonna be covering this for the iPhone because it's the entry level device and it's the most popular one out of all the devices out there. So let's get to it. So what is segment? Segment's an application which allows you to take a piece of audio and transform it. In other words, it's a sampler. It allows you to be able to chop up the samples, time stretch it, pitch it. You can add effects to the particular audio to transform it. So you know who likes sampler? Yup, DB loves samplers. And it lets you make 16 chops. If you, up, if you get the upgrade that was recently released, you can actually do up to 32 chops and you can import more audios. What sampler lets you do is be able to, one, give creative vocal chops, two, it lets you play a particular sound that you don't really have. Let's say you want to get a harmonica or you want to get a banjo and you don't really have those instruments. You can just take a snippet of audio, pitch it, stretch it, and that's it. For example, I'm going to download a sample from freesound.org and I'm going to open up segments. Once I've done this, I'm going to actually add the audio file by tapping on the folder icon there. And I'll search for the downloads folder where I kept that audio. And like that, it's important. Let's listen. All right, so we're going to slice it up and just play around with one of the slices. Lots of things can be done with a sampler. It's, it's one of the ways why, why you create a lot of creative EDM drops. Yeah, the chamber noise you hear, it's pretty much just a sampler. That was used you pitch out the audio a little bit and you play it out like a keyboard so let's put that to the test i'm just going to turn on the microphone and record myself and we're going to just play around with the audio recording right now All right, now let's get further on into segments. Segments has three main modes. It's got the drum pads mode, it's got the piano roll mode, and it's got the effects mode. The drum pad mode is where you can play out each of the sections that you've chopped up. It allows you to play it's pretty much like a drum pad. If you've used the Akai or the Novation launch pad or launch key, it's pretty much arranged based on that setup. So you're gonna really have a great time if you're familiar with those devices. You can modify their starting point, their length, their attack, their release time, um, by, by just tapping on one of them and you can use the sliders there to adjust them Now if you want to edit all of them just simply tap on the all button That's where you can be able to easily change all of this one great thing about segments that I don't see be mentioned of is the fact that it can actually detect the key and the pitch of the sample you're importing when you import the sample It lets you know the key of it the BPM of it. That is a really really powerful tool So I used to be using DJ to be able to do this feature now with segments, I just get the audio and, and that's it. Now, remember how each of the slices are different? Yep, it applies both for the piano row and it applies both for the FX. When you select a slice, you can play out that slice like an instrument. And you can even apply individual effects to them that separates them from each other. So yeah, it, it really gets a lot in depth the more you use the application. 
Effects that you can use includes reverb, delay, the crush, and filter effects. Panning you can do already on the on the segment above. If you're using this on the iPad or Mac OS, you can actually drag and drop samples from one folder directly into the pads there. And again, when you get this app for one, I believe it applies for all of them. At least in my case, when I got the application, I was able to use it on my iPhone, on my iPad, and on my on my Mac. Now let's look into EG Pulse. EG Pulse is a, hmm, what do I call it? I would call it a groove box because it technically can be a groove box. Maybe it's a sampler pad because you can pretty much just place samples out of it. It's a drum machine, honestly, at this point. Yeah, EG Pulse is a, is a drum machine that lets you play a lot of samples. It comes with a ton of kits for free. And as of the film of the video, I believe it supports 16 pads. Yeah, you can import multiple audios in this one. Each audio can be assigned to different pads and you can manipulate them in certain ways. Here's an example. We're going to drag and drop some samples directly into EG Pulse. So I just added in a kick. I'm going to add in some sort of hi hat as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, the next thing we can do with EG Pulse is actually customize each of those pads. If we go further on to the other menus here, yeah, we've got access to a lot more features. For example, there's the grid. The grid menu is similar to what you find in GarageBand Beat Sequencer. You're able to add in a lot of point where you want particular drums to hit. The mix is where you control the volumes of each of the sections and the song mode is where you arrange everything. Now with the grid menu you're able to add and delete notes, you can lengthen them, you can copy patterns from one line to another. It's a really fantastic tool to be able to make really really creative drum patterns. Song mode allows you to actually navigate between sections or different banks that you've already organized. But let's make a simple beat. Now, let's get to the main reason why you're here. How would you use the app? I use the app in a few ways. In standalone mode is where you, I actually spend the most time crafting out samples or crafting out pads. For example, in segments, if I import the sample in segments and I like the idea, I can actually send that project directly into EG Pulse and make a jump pad out of it. Yeah, really, I can send a segments project directly into EG Pulse. Okay, so the application, the application. Force me to take, force me to take, why do I, why do I?
Heavily reliant on the just gone. Well, not really gone. Heavily reliant on the just gone. Just so really on AUV tree mode, when I just want to make music in GarageBand, what I do is I just bring it up as an AUV tree. Segment is wherever I want to go to if I want to do specific vocal chops or audio chops. One of the great things you can do directly using segments is you can drag in audio even in GarageBand. In this case, I'm just going to keep loading up the same voiceover, yeah? I'm going to drag it into a segments project and I'm going to chop it up. Great, so now it's in the segments timeline. Force me to force me to take why do I why do I use auto to force me to take force me to take a date change date The last feature I made the last Another great feature of this is I can actually trigger this directly using the keyboard in GarageBand and record something on it. Date, 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 the application, the application, date, date. The last feature, the last feature, the application, the application, the application, the application date, date. I can also use it to play some samples or some instruments. Just add it as an AUV tree instrument and play it to the keyboard. One of the great things you can do is make an AUV tree instrument using segments. To do that, I'm going to open up segments here. The next thing I'm going to do is open up an Interap Audio application. In this case, it's going to be Risen Compact using the monotone patch. I want to sample that particular pluck sound. So once I've loaded it up, I'm going to open up the plugins and EQ in GarageBand. I'm going to scroll down into look for an AUV tree called Segments Recorder. This allows me to record audio from an Interap Audio instrument. I'll leave the record button turned on and keep recording it. Now open up Prison Compact and I just keep tapping recording the samples I want. I could record more. In this case I just want to record the same note. Once it's been recorded I'm going to tap on stop and boom the audio has been recorded. Now what I can do here is I can slice it I can detect it or I can slice equally, depending on what I want. In this case, I'm just going to detect it based on the pitch on the threshold. Zooming in further on the segment audio recorder, I can see that there's about seven pads created. Since I was using the same kit, it's just going to be the same sound, but I could have used this to sample a lot of different patches and Reason Compact. Anyways, I'm going to save this sound here as something memorable so I can be able to use it in a future project. In this case I just call it Reason Compact Pluck. Once you're done saving it, you can then add a new segment AUV tree. You're going to scroll down to find segments and you're going to open up that particular patch you saved. In this case it's Reason Compact Pluck. So once I've saved it and I've loaded it up here, I can actually play it using the piano roll mode. If I'd recorded more samples, I could have selected different sounds. But this is a really, really quick way to get a ton of samples off of other Intap audio apps that you're using. All right, let's get to work. AG Pulse is if I want to make a particular drum sequence. I can program it directly using the keyboard roll. So we're going to demo this using the iPhone and I'm going to open up both EG Pulse and GarageBand. So with AV3 instruments, you can actually trigger the sounds by using the keyboard, but you have to actually load them up. In this case, I'm going to scroll into external. I'll tap on audio unit extension and I'll tap on EG Pulse. Once I tap on EG Pulse, I'm just going to wait for it to load. I'm just going to find the drum kit I'm looking for. You can see I'm tapping on the keyboard. It's currently there's no sound, but that's because the kit isn't selected yet. So I'm going to tap on the icon on the top right where it says bank. Once I tap on it, I'm going to load the particular sound I'm looking for. In this case, I'm just going to load a simple rock kit. 
and I can trigger it directly by using the keyboard in GarageBand. And there we go. The other thing you could do is using the main application, you can actually export the stems or the patterns and be able to use it directly in GarageBand. This, uh, this is good if you want to mix specific channels a different way. So overall, what would I say between the two applications? Segments is a great sampler. If you're looking for an advanced tool to be able to make great vocal chops, great audio chop, or to find more unique ways to be able to take recordings and spin them into the next direction. Or even if you just needed a quick tool to find the key and tempo of a song, it's a great tool for that. EG Pulse is great if you need a drum pad, a drum making machine, to be able to make sick beats. If you're a fan of like the MPC style workflow, or you want to level up GarageBand so that you don't rely on just the samples there, EG Pulse is a fantastic app. We're going to be giving away copies of this application, one for segments and one for EG Pulse. So feel free to leave a comment in the video which one you'd be interested in, and we'll be picking a winner by, by the end of this week. Hope you have a great one. Take it easy. Whoosh.